Do you, anybody else get the after shits? You know what I'm talking about? Like yeah, you, take, wait, wait. you take a huge dump, right? And you uh -huh. wipe thoroughly, but then like half an hour later, there's like some, oh, like, like the grease. The there's grease. like like some extra shit that comes out, and you're walking, and your ass is just itchy, and you're like, "Fuck, why is my ass so itchy?" The fuck you, yeah. bidet, you go, dude. you go to the bathroom. You, to be, you, yeah, you need the bidet. Grab for that. like a fucking meteorite of of one fly, <laughs> and you just dig it into your ass, and then it's just shit brown, and you're like. I, fi I thought I finished taking a shit. Why is there shit part two? Absolutely. Why is there a sequel? The, this is why we need bidets in America. Why did they yeah. do a fucking like spinoff of the, the, the shit that I took that clogged an industrial Boruto. toilet? Boruto. Yeah, that's, a, that's that Boruto. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Add Josh yeah. to the list of guests that uh, slowly <laughs> regret coming on the podcast <laughs> once it starts. This man is like, what the fuck did I get myself into? This guy like talking about taking a dump for, this podcast for, is. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not kidding when I say this. I like destroyed a fucking toilet at work <laughs> last year, dude. They had they had fucking caution tape around the, the around the bathroom. It's stall. it's yeah. real. Arsene sent the photo. Yeah, yeah. Like they literally were like caution. They do really not did. enter. Yeah. yeah. No, it was like they 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 closed off the entire stall and it just said caution. <laughs> do not enter. <laughs> they like it was like X'd out. Like they put like one line and then like another perpendicular line in the opposite no, direction this toilet is, is beyond like, this fuck. is fucked like and it's still it's still bad because this was on friday and today is tuesday and it's still up there That's amazing. it's still up there and i will not fucking confess I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you that is the most impressive thing i've ever heard you like it's an industrial like... toilet this isn't like a normal like at your home <laughs> like pull the handle down to flush this is one of those like it sounds like a fucking jet engine when you pull the handle back and Bro, i you clogged like... that shit that is a fucking achievement. Like I'm gonna die like, one day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna just take a shit, shit one day, and like my entire small intestine is gonna come pouring out of my ass. Bro, that's how fucking people die on the shitter all the time. That's how Elvis died. That's how I want to die. Elvis I want to die alive, the way I lived, taking a three-hour shit at work and getting paid for it. Now motherfuckers like pop a fucking like have like an aneurysm just taking a shit, and then yeah. it's over for them. Dude, I've had like. Hem you ever have a hemorrhoid inside your ass? <laughs> not like on the, not on like the rim. I'm talking like an interior. Like I had one, I had one last week that I popped by taking a shit. And like, oh, dude, I felt like I had like, I felt like I had a turd. It's just log like, I had, I felt like I had a turd log jammed in my rectum I just, for like two just, hours. I, mean, I could have gone back to sleep. I woke up at like midnight, took a shit. It's amazing. And that I'm you lying. Down, I'm lying in my bed. Ever. I'm lying in my fucking bed, being like, "Is this like, like rectal cancer? Am I dying? Oh my am god! I, am I dying right now?" And then, and then like two hours later, I go and like just sat back. I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's just gas. And I sat back on the toilet, and I just get this like squirt of blood out of my ass. Like just <laughs> That's awesome. fucking like I just aborted a fetus out of my own hand. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way this is healthy. There's no way my fucking digestive system is in a good place right now. Yeah, you're you're dying, dude. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna take that last shit one day. You know, you know how like drug dealers like they're always like hanging on by a thread. Like mm -hmm. there's like that lat. There's always that you know. There's that one hit that finally gets you. You're just you keep flipping the coin and flipping. The, like that's how I feel every time I take a shit. Every time I take a shit is the scariest moment of my life. <laughs> Jules, why are you wearing a shirt that looks like those Greek coffee cups at fucking food carts? Yeah. It's Versace, bro. That oh, looks he is? like yeah, he's that's a new little code. Little. Is that the new code? <laughs> that is Versace, people, right? People are talking about Greeks, you know? And the older they get, the more and more yeah. Greek they become, they say. I yeah. got the same the original, the ring. original Me Too movement was against yeah. Greeks. Jules would be wearing Versace on the fucking yeah. pocket. Greeks were, about Greeks were the time. original, like, Hollywood in that they really just fucked any child that moved. <laughs> <laughs> they were Who Greeks sure? were the original Dan Schneider. They're like, oh yo, send feet sculptures. <laughs> like Greek Greek Dan Schneideropolis was uh, like, oh, send us fucking <laughs> hello, uh, hello, hello, little boys. Send us your feet sculptures. <laughs> anyway, Josh, do you have anything to say? <laughs> yeah. To the show. <laughs> You know how um you know space is fake and gay, science is fake, it's fake, fake and gay, um and uh doctors also experts, yes. basically experts. Um, I'm none of those things, but I do know you're dying. Yeah, you're definitely <laughs> dying, bro. It's so over. And and you, you need to change your life. 
You need to change your life now. <laughs> you know what it is, man. I'm not. I'm not. It's dying. all those pierogies, dude. I have. I have like horrific GERD. Like I'll. I eat. I'll eat any meal, like regardless of what it is, even if it's the oh. healthiest shit. I could eat a salad, and I just have like a salad's flame. not healthy. You're gonna have Why fucking. Don't you make your and... Thanksgiving dinner this year from scratch. How about that? Who doesn't? I do that every year. Every Arsene, time. you're saying you have Thanksgiving dinner now? Yeah, bro. What do, what do, you, what do, you, what do you mean <laughs> now? What do you mean now? <laughs> like, I haven't been holding this against you. Like, I haven't been holding fuck? this against will, you. you. The second you... I'm I, issuing an open like, challenge I to you. don't celebrate Thanksgiving. And then I was like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. This is one again. I mean, this happened a couple of weeks ago when we were... I thought, or I think you so you do celebrate Thanksgiving. He was gaslighting you. Just, this is what he just does this. He's well, like, Jules, no, no, it's not even, it's I'm worse than gaslighting. Surprised. Jules has a conversation with himself in his head we do, we do and not. thinks it happened. <laughs> and like, he's just like, oh, that, it's like, it's like, you know how, like, when women have dreams, like, a woman, a woman <laughs> dream that, like, her boyfriend, like, cheated on him, and then she wakes up and uh, yeah. slaps him in the face. Like, that's, that's Jules, that's but Jules. with just regular conversations. Like, <laughs> not sexual at all. He's just like, yeah, uh, I rem I was like, you know, right. on the train, the, I was running the other day and I got shoulder checked by this guy. And while I, while that happened, I thought like, yeah, our son doesn't celebrate Thanksgiving. So that happened. That's real. <laughs> oh, interesting. I feel like you incriminated yourself somehow there. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Bro, do you just like, do you have like a fucking like <laughs> random word generator as like a, you know, like as a side window to this? Oh, was that, a, like, oh, was that right, a random word? Is that generate. a random word? Okay, cool. How do I use this word as fast as possible? What do you guys think about women? Love them. Don't think love about them. women. Love I them. try to avoid them. I'm, I'm a married man. I don't give a shit about any woman that isn't my wife. You, you, you'd be shocked at how much time you waste, like, chasing women. True. Yeah. Like, so an, true. Yeah, like, an insane <clears throat> amount. Before I got married, an insane amount of my time, whether mm. successful or otherwise, was just like, I need a <laughs> pussy. I need to like come in a in a <laughs> pussy. I need to fucking nut in a pussy. Like just constantly, it's like compulsive thoughts running through your mind, and then you get married, and you're like, All right, we're, "We're good now. <laughs> we're fine." No, instead of I don't need to prove like ever pretend yeah. a woman is like funny or interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you got married, and now you just focus on shitting. Just shit. Yeah, I don't, well, no, that's, trying not to not, die. I, I don't call that. I don't call that a focus as much as I do like a like a daily tragedy <laughs> that I just have to come to terms with. <laughs> it's like just a thing, you know. Like you know, how like old dudes are like, oh, I woke up my my back and my knees are real shot. Like that's, <laughs> I wake up and I'm like, I need to like almost die every morning. I need to grapple with God every morning and beg Dude, him. Do you have serious Beg him problems. not. <laughs> no, man. I'm not even kidding. Dude, my shits, I shit like a solid, beautifully brown log. Every, like, I don't know. There's no, there's no diarrhea. No, it's nice. just this nice, continuous. I, respect that. I don't even have to wipe. Like, I have like a very slight wipe just to get like the hardened chunks around my ass, <laughs> you know, just like, one or two of them. But like, I have beautiful shit. Yeah, is it? <laughs> I have like beautiful shits. It's just my body is too good at taking a shit. Mm. This is the shit episode. Optimized. <laughs> is, is, Josh, is this what you talk about on your show too? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. This is oh, this stop. is what this is what the people want to hear about. Yeah. These I, are not <laughs> jokes, man. Yeah. This is my life. This yeah, is yeah, the hell I, that I inhabit. Yeah, every your, day. your life is a joke. Whatever. But like, I thought of the <laughs> phrase "poopy pussy." I, didn't see that. I saw that on the and timeline. I couldn't stop laughing at it because it just sounds so funny. Like I saw that on the timeline. I was like, James is, is like divinely inspired with this one. Before you say poopy <laughs> pussy, the funnier it gets. It just rolls off the, the tongue so well. Poopy, poopy pussy. pussy. I want everyone to say it with me. Poopy pussy. No. Nope. Josh, come on, say it. poopy pussy. <laughs> no, it's gonna be used against me. No. It's true. It's definitely gonna get clipped. <laughs> Josh that. refuses to talk about his poopy it's pussy. So bad. It's not gonna so do bad. that. I'm looking at the DMs between all of us, and it says here, Dr. Manfappen at 4:23 p.m. said, "Got home like 10 minutes ago. Gonna drop a turbo deuce, <laughs> yep, and I'm good." So this even this <laughs> conversation happened way before we recorded. Most of, most of my life, most of my life revolves around me just taking a shit. But anyway, you've been fucking, uh, you taking a massive shit, destroying the toilet at work 
only to come back and take round two, the fucking the reprise. Well, I hadn't I hadn't shit since did. like yesterday morning, so okay, all right, that's, that's, that's a that's rough fair. one. It was I a rough one. It. I respect it. I really like don't. Here, here's a, I mean, you want a real reason why like I have zero sympathy for women is because I I, <laughs> I give I give birth every day. That's fair. Every day I experience the pain of childbirth, and I have to wonder to myself: Is this is this the one? Realistically, how is like, this the turd that finally cracks my pelvis in half? Here's Ar- Arsene doesn't realize that like when he was a kid, he accidentally made a monkey's paw kind of thing where he saw a woman getting, giving birth and he's like, oh, that's not so hard. I could do that every day. Yeah, Here's and I do. And you know what? I do. Does intensity versus longevity, right? Is having a really big spike of childbirth, is does that really beat like... 30 40 50 years of just massive shits if you think about it one's actually a little bit more heroic actually there's yeah, i've no. taken shits where no. i like i there's think i have a fever <laughs> like i'm like <laughs> mid shit i'm like shivering i'm like oh what is this what the fuck is happening to my body right now like i'm like shivering uncontrollably my body temperature just shot up like three degrees i feel like i'm about to faint you're literally ignoring <laughs> all the signs. <laughs> this is like death. Like, yeah, we're in happening. death's door. Yeah, no, it's you because I'm a, I'm... you actually like die from dysentery or something. Or, like, <laughs> diarrhea, like, no, 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 because no, dysentery is diarrhea. Like I said, yeah. I like rarely have diarrhea. Yeah, it's so like, funny. Maybe really like two, really three, maybe awkward. two or three times a year. I have diarrhea. <laughs> like, I have a, I, an iron colon. It's so funny because yeah, well, like, I'm, I really hope that you. Yeah, I die from taking a shit. <laughs> It's so funny because I'm supposed to go on Josh's show on Sunday and I'm going to get like a message from him tomorrow. And be like, hey, can we uh, reschedule that? And then he just <laughs> never has me on. True. It's true. I, I was right, literally writing that right hour. now. I was like, I was kind of, uh, you know, I'm, I was putting it through Grammarly. Mm, you know? got you. Yeah. Make sure now he's going to move you to Calendly. Yeah, I love when uh, yeah, well, love when we have guests on. They're just like fucking like appalled. We behaved ourselves last week, so it's all coming out now. Yeah, like, last week we like really, like we're really trying our hardest because it was a a, a lady. Josh is everything. less a guest than like a fucking hostage bystander <laughs> at this point. Yeah, what did I like? Did I offend you in any way? No, man. I just I, I have. Like this apparently for some reason James is just uh James usually like tries to reel the conversation in and like keep it on topic. He does usually try to, but and today I'm just like not letting him for some yeah, reason. Like I just but... I feel compelled to not. Le- he's he's kept sure me fucking chained James, up in the basement for so long. I offended someone somehow. No 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 no. This is just who I am. This and, like, is literally just who he is. And James has kept me like chained up in the fucking cupboard for <laughs> like for like three, four weeks now where he keeps trying to like wrestle, you know, wrestle me into control and being like, no, we're actually talking about something today. And today mm-hmm. I'm like, no, we're yeah. not. I'm you, just you should look at the like the comments today. on like the episodes on YouTube, the amount of times people say, let the guests talk. <laughs> let the oh, guests look, talk. I, I guess all I can say is subscribe to my gum road and then you can hear me talk. All right. So here, how about this? How about this? I'll give Josh a chance to talk. Josh, uh, aside from, the fact that I know you are like peripherally involved with Infowars, I literally have no fucking clue who you are. Dude. Yeah, that's good. That's I like how like, a lot what of do you. What do you do? Because James, I know literally, like, literally, he doesn't show. just ask people to like show up on a show. Racist podcast, you know? Yeah. Oh, just, all uh, right. Yeah, I I see, you come to the right family. place. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, Josh, you, you you got banned for um being too racist, right? From Patreon. Yeah. Yeah. You get banned from Patreon? Yeah, I got banned in March. Literally right after I told my wife to quit her job, I'm like, I got banned a week later. <laughs> Oof. I was on InfoWars, and and the moment I got back to my hotel room, uh, I got a notification that they cashed out my account, and I'm, I was banned. Wait, seriously? You just, like, literally just uh, being on just being on it once? Y- yeah. I, I An hour later, I was banned. <clears throat> and wow. I think it might... Because I was on, on Patreon for two years, so I think it had to do with um, a bunch of haters who watch InfoWars. And then they, I was probably mass reported by people um, because it can't, it couldn't have been a coincidence that an hour later I was banned. Oh, no, definitely not a coincidence, yeah. no. Um, so yeah, I, I never got a strike or anything, even though I've had very controversial guests and I've said terrible things, you know. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I was kind of flying under the radar, you know. 
and then and then I got banned, but I rebuilt it pretty quickly. I'm on Gumroad now. I have no idea how I'm still on Twitter. And I keep trying to like instigate certain things. Like I tweeted the other day about how Michelle Obama couldn't find any of her pregnancy pictures and that kind of <laughs> I mean you can, can you find pregnancy <laughs> pictures of can. Michelle Obama? You, you I've can. never seen I mean, it. might be uh, impossible. Yeah. It's impossible because a dude can't get pregnant. But so real. <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I it, like that's the thing. It maybe could have been a coincidence or maybe I was mass reported uh, because I was on. Inf- I don't know. Do you think I have Michelle no Obama is just a, like a master level troll <laughs> who like just had like she is just a woman and just had all of these <laughs> records. It was like sitting there one day, just bored as fuck. Be like, I'm going to start a conspiracy. I'm going to go on 4chan right now and start a conspiracy that I'm actually a man. Well, I'm going to hire the CIA since my husband is the yeah. fucking president. I have the resources to hire the CIA to make it look like I have a cock in all my photos <laughs> and then, <laughs> then execute anyone the who has old photos of me and expunge and then, all photos of me. To let like, me get tell into you the why. The gym, uh, overhead press only. Yeah. <laughs> like, the shoulders yeah. Fucking I'm going to get more jacked than my husband. I'll tell you why. Well, you're it's right. not hard because he's half Kenyan, so it's not hard. It's not it's not hard to be like to have more muscle mass than a Kenyan. Well, he's he's probably the son of that Indonesian president. I don't know if he's even Kenyan. Oh, I've <laughs> seen that. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll tell you why I think you're right about Michelle. If if um you know, if she is a woman pretending to be a dude, because um she knows women can't be president. It's just not going to happen. It's not in the cards. You know, mm. God, there you go. So you, so it's a, it's a setup to like come out as like a trans man like yeah. 10 years from now. Yeah, and then be president. The long yeah. con. I'd honestly, I'd be down with that. Like, if they just had like, like, her big ass muscle arm, like, you know, for a presidential, whatever, for the primaries debate, her going against Kamala, and she just uses her giant fucking, you know, jacked man arms to just yeah. her fucking skull in. <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> Kamala Harris if we, skull in. We should definitely. I would. Like a I would. Attack. I would vote for her if she did that. I would vote. I don't give a fuck what the kind presidency of presidency should be trying. decided by. I. I, I yeah, dude. You're absolutely. not allowed to vote. I'm sorry, what? what the fuck are you talking about? Our son's not allowed to vote. Why the fuck would I not be allowed to vote? Dude, Dude I'm, I'm a naturalized citizen. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I've been a citizen of the United States for like fucking 13 years. What are you talking he, about? He can't run for Wait, president. Wait, only 13? Oh, he's been <clears throat> run for president. You're right. But why the fuck would I want to? Yeah, you can you can vote. You just if I ran for president, I would be assassinated after my first like campaign speech. Listen, Jules, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> was the governor. You can go up to governor at least. Yeah. Without uh, being, I could be the governor of the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do as governor of the Bronx? What would be the? I would had, make it. What would, would be your executive it, order as governor? Yeah, of but Bronx? yeah, but Arnold my first executive order like, is open stocks. open season on fucking meter maids. Based. Oh, hell yeah. Literally, everybody gets a free gun. I would do. I would do. <laughs> I would do fucking Blood Meridian. You give, like, us, wait, you give everyone a free a gun. Now it's a different kind of Indian that you're hunting and scalping. <laughs> <laughs> but you give every, everyone in the Bronx. If you have free- a, if you have a, if you have a parking ticket, you can absolve it by bringing in the scalp of the <laughs> of the fucking of the five foot two Bangladeshi guy that gave it to you. That's what I would. That would be my first order of action. And if you're from the Bronx, you know what I'm talking about because parking is fucking abysmal there to begin with, and you will get you will catch like three fucking tickets in a day. If you're oh, yeah. like, dude, you the Bronx rapes your fucking ass with parking violations. Yeah, no, they are, yeah. it's the worst borough for it. Like bar none in New York City, it's the worst borough to have a car. And unfortunately, it's the only borough where you absolutely yeah, have car. to have a car because you're what are your lines? You have the four line the one line and the fucking D line, the three of the worst lines in New York city. Beers. Anyway, so that, that would be my first executive order as, <laughs> as, 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 as God emperor of the Bronx. So you, first... you, so you give everyone in the Bronx a second gun. For free. Giving, <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. What, but... what, what would your second executive order be? Mr. Governor, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Governor bullseye. Yeah. Um, any deli that doesn't sell out of state cigarettes publicly executed. Um, I would have, I would have my own, like, you know, like how the Vatican has like a Swiss guard. Mm-hmm. I would have like, you know, like 20 guys standing guard for the, uh, the Joker stairs. Just, <laughs> nice, nice. just decapitate anybody who tries anything funny <laughs> on that <laughs> shit. Just on site decapitation. <laughs> no, no, the, no trials. The, like, the, the, the Joker stairs are in like the worst. A lot of death. The Joker stairs are in like. 
fucking like there's like one of the worst neighborhoods in the bronx (laughs) it's so dangerous over there honestly (laughs) anybody who lives in that neighborhood who's a native of that neighborhood i give them a third free gun to shoot anyone who fucks around on the joker stairs that's my third decree and we're gonna i'm gonna make the bronx great again it's so funny there's like a little there's like little gangs that like hang on that stairs that's like a yeah. uh, gang spot. <laughs> any there's there's a couple of places like that in the bronx where like it's a like a high because the bronx is really hilly so there's a lot of like streets that are like connected by exactly those kinds of stairs and like if you live there like it sucks because they're steep bro you're going up it's like a fucking, very like, steep, it's yeah. like a 200 foot incline you're yeah, literally i've, I've you're, seen the movie yeah it's like a 200 fucking foot incline and you're walking up that shit every day god for in the winter in the, you know how it's much so you know how many people shit? bust oh, their dude. fucking asses on that shit it's ridiculous it's ridiculous so yeah that's my third royal decree is is a free gun for anybody who brings me the head of anyone who does the joker stare dance because people still like go there as a tourist attraction it's like <laughs> why the fuck are you here why are you here and for your fourth and final uh i would uh run all of the italians out of arthur avenue because that's functionally been little albania for like 15 years now so just give it to the Albanians. Uh, beast yeah you but, gotta, you gotta, but, but in retaliation own. in retaliation i would ban albanians from norwood that's a strictly that is a strictly like dominican and popping uh, and fucking yeah. Habibi neighborhood at this While point. While you're out, you might as well get the, the Albanians out of Yonkers too. Give them, give it to <laughs> I would, I'd love to get everybody out of Yonkers. Fuck Yonkers. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, James was asking me uh, what conspiracies did I want to talk about mm-hmm. coming on here. And I, it's not that I believe in this conspiracy, but I, I am fascinated by it because I understand why people are attracted <laughs> to it and believe in it. But like this whole thing of Tartaria and the mud flood and how our history, all of it's a lie and how um, greater uh, forms of humanity basically existed before us and mm-hmm. built these structures and they all had electricity and it was free energy and all of these things. And, and it was worldwide. Um, like, I understand why people believe uh, in that. It's because our current environment is so shitty and we're supposedly smarter than everyone who came before us, which I don't think is true. Uh, I definitely don't. We're definitely not. True. We're definitely not smarter. No, the thing is, is right now, you know, there's more people that than than have ever existed, <clears throat> and we're oversaturated by, um, you know, low IQ or midwits or whatever you want to call it. So we have to appease them. Think about what's popular. Think about what's dominating popular culture and all that. It's things meant to appease, you know, the broad audience. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and, uh, it's usually just, you know, whatever. So it's the same thing with our buildings. Everything after world war II is just terrible. And, and it's, no one believes in aesthetic anymore. No one believes in beauty anymore. So yeah, I can totally understand why people believe that, um, the generations before us, like were these superhumans basically, and Mm -hmm. they kind of dismiss all the history that came before us so i i almost feel like they're kind of half right like yeah they were better than us and they did strive to be um gods on earth you know like i mean what do you think the um the sistine chapel is and all that that's just people wanted to be closer to god and that's how they achieved it like someone posted a, a a gothic church that was built in the 1300s or something the other day on Twitter. And they're like, how did people build this with just uh, simple tools and all that? And then I'm like, I I retweeted. I'm like, they believed in God. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. And not only that, it took them uh, them like a hundred years. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Five generations to do it. They're like just finishing. I was just in Barcelona and they're just finishing that cathedral out there. And they've been working on it for like a hundred years. Yeah. I mean, that's just how, and, and, and also no one complained. That was their life. They're like, okay, this is what I'm going to do the rest of my life. Okay. And then my son's going to do it. Yeah. Pretty, yeah. It's so funny because I, think- I, I actually had never heard of Tartaria until like maybe a few months ago when I was just like looking up like Atlantis shit. Right. And then I heard of that and I saw like a Twitter account dedicated to this. And I'm like, how have I gone so long and like never heard of it? So it's crazy that like that's even more. Like, I've never heard of that name push. either, but I've heard of most like the old history shit, but I've never, that's a in mud flood. It, it's all the yeah. same thing. And, and a lot of that crosses over with flat earth stuff too. Yeah. It's very interesting. I, I don't even know. Like there was like a seven hour video someone sent me and it, and it was talking about the mud flood and all <clears throat> and, and Tartaria and all of these things. And then all of a sudden halfway through it just started talking about how that correlates directly with the flat earth. 
Well, the and, mud flood, I don't I don't know the details of it, but I can see how that is very similar to like all the um chaos ocean creation stories in like uh basically every in like Sumeria and like everywhere. Like there's a big flood, like there's a flood in like every single old religion because right. So the premise yeah. is like there's a the the um like the modern interpretation is that like after the ice age, all the melting ice you know made a lot of like floods or whatever but you never know it could also just be like uh the washing like a true global flood it's funny because i used to like completely dismiss flat earth because like i feel like whenever you see the memes or just like normies or whatever talk about it you think of literally just like a flat earth like a pizza right which is like not what the theory actually is where it's supposed to be like a flat surface with like rock underneath that's like triangular shape and then like a dome above the earth. So it's really just flat earth surface, but not the entire planet is like shaped mm. like a pizza. Retarded. Which- <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> if you know, like even a lick of physics, it's like it's retarded. Physics is fake. <laughs> Science is fake. They, um, they're trying to recreate those like old um, analogy. Cosmology. Like lizard people. That's basically it. Lizard people are real. There's statues of it from ancient times. Yo, of course they're real. I know some of them, but that's <laughs> of course you do. Of course you do. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> uh, it's it's a Jonathan Swift esque parable. Like the flat Earth has a lot more to do with how to think about think about what. I think it's what? just I think it's just a, a fucking joke that got out of hand. So Thomas Friedman wrote a book called The Earth is Flat, and it's a metaphor for the economic system that's currently baked in. So a lot of people that have trouble talking about things, like they might be interrupted by Arsene if they <laughs> have something they want to say. And really, then, dude? You're, you of all people? <laughs> then, dude, you so of all people they, talking about interrupting? They, they find roundabout ways of talking about it anyway. I thought the whole thing with the flat earth, the point of that was like, there's um, the premise is to draw attention to like uh, NASA being fake and project, yeah. uh, what is it, yeah. Mockingbird or Paperclip, one of the two of those. Yeah, Paperclip. And then, like, Operation Paperclip, yeah. And then it's like, oh, they're trying to, uh, it's like, a, it's like, a, it's, a, it's a means to draw people to understanding that the there's like an NWO situation where they're trying to make like uh, a global enemy in alien. Project Bluebeam. Yeah, blue beam, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that I thought the flat earth was always just like a at least originally was just a, a gateway point. A, a gateway point to get people to look at the rest of the shit. Well, so people like, really now believe method. it. method. It's uh, like a against uh, method. Like sometimes we discover things in science accidentally. So by oh yeah, things, fire fire like, bonds. Right. So fire so bonds. certain scientific engagements have more to do with contriving serendipity than they do with confirming a preconceived notion, right? So flat earth theory is a lot more about contriving a situation for serendipity than it is about proving their preconceived notion, which is why it's retarded and why it's exactly what the against method is that Paul Feyerabend describes in his book Against Method, which is about Mm -hmm. using Dadaism, as a complement to the scientific method or anarchy. I understood yeah. some of those words. <laughs> bro, those, yeah. you basically, just, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll literally I'll, just I'll made words it. up, bro. <laughs> I'll shorten it. You just so fucking made words like, up, bro. A lot right of now. science is like pretending to be, uh, is, is pretending that their methodology is like the only way. Um, so he was just like, most science is an accident anyway, right? Yeah. Like oh, I, antibiotics or medicine, blah, 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 we find it by accident. We're looking science for something else. Navigating then, uncertainty. Wait, let me handle it. Cause you were on some other shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're looking for, we're looking for something. And then in the process of looking for something, we find something else. And then we go, Oh, we know what this other thing is. And we're going to use it for X, Y, Z. Right. So the, the premise is like, just come up with some absurd destination and anarchy and just tinker around. And then on the process of looking to solve that you'll find other discoveries and that the scientific method is essentially like uh contriving. It's not like the only way to find things. It's actually like, we never find it that way. We find it accidentally. And then we uh, retro, we wreck on it. Yeah. That's like, you're the, saying the earth is really flat. Uh, no, we're saying that like, it's a good, it's a, 
Yeah, it's definitely plausible though. Take it to the bank. No, it's not. Uh, it's, it's, it's literally not plausible. No, it's no. literally not, dude. Yeah. I'll say no, this. Go, 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 go. Is, have you ever put a level on the sidewalk? Have what? you ever taken a leveler? Like you could do the experiment. What does that have to do with anything? Have you ever taken like a leveler and put it on the sidewalk? No, what, what uh, you, could, you could do. You could figure out. There, you can like figure out um the curvature. Oh, of, like no, without own, like, without G, literally like without GPS, without GPS, yeah, or nothing. Like Aristotle like figured this out like like thousands of years ago that it's not flat. They made a motherfucker like walk to different like uh. Obelisks, Dude, he he like, was he in figured out Ptolemy yeah. or whatever the fuck his name is. Was it Ptolemy like, or Aristotle? Yeah, one of those Aristotle. Or can you assholes. prove Aristotle existed? Yeah, well, him, yeah. Yeah, he, not he, Socrates. Socrates. It's Socrates it's, 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 it's irrelevant. You could do the same experiment that yeah. he did and get the same fucking results. That was Aristotle, right? In the bathtub? No, you that's know, Archimedes. 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 Yeah. You could, the, the whole point of these things is that they're fucking reproducible, right? Yes. That's the, that's the punchline. Prove it. It's reprodu- reproduce it. Man, reproduce my nuts. <laughs> we actually did. We actually did reproduce. I do. I, I do enough slave labor for you. <laughs> we did, we actually, I did reproduce it in school. Uh, but I, I will say that there's a possibility that instead of a, a sphere, it's a torus, and that hollow Earth is real. And yeah, people, no, no, it's hollow Earth. I believe more than flat Earth. Few people want to understand. Hollow Earth is based. I like so the like, the concept of that a lot, and then that's where uh, you know all all the. Um, uh, not Atlanteans. Uh, what's Hyperboreans? That's where Hyperboreans. all the Hyperboreans are. Past the ice wall. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. All all the real answers to the world and the history of the world are like past Antarctica. So mm. speak on it. That's why they don't let you go past there. Yeah. I think Elon They're Musk needs to be stuff. honest with us about space. Yeah. He's like, he's, he get, he's getting all he's going he's that, going right? he's going to space so he can fuck uh slightly weird looking alien chicks. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean i don't think he sent a car up there that's not true he didn't really do that he's like, i always thought that the car was a decoy he was trying to so i this is my this is my schedule he theory. was committing space 9-11 <laughs> 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 even about the car was he was testing load so that he can uh, like um, load on the actual like rocket and shit, so that he can figure out if he can uh, transport fucking asteroids. Because it's a uh, the car itself was like a scanner for uh, asteroid field. I did a whole thread on it, but I, I don't remember the fuck I was saying back then. But I was like, he's uh, he was trying to he wasn't actually aiming at Mars. He was aiming at some other shit like asteroid belt afterwards. Uh, I don't know. Well, he can't get past the firmament, so I don't know what you're talking about. So real. My honest opinion is that I think space to an extent is real, but a lot of what they like. <laughs> I love how James like always manages to say the most retarded shit possible. <laughs> but like, you know, all the shit that they show, they, they show us like to an extent is real, like the obvious stuff. But like, you know, when they're like, oh, look at this fucking close up fucking photo of, you know, Uranus up there and you know and uh pluto's fucking cock and balls you know look how clear it is as day you know i, I think bro you know they like put a satellite in orbit on that shit right yeah they could who who's proven all this satellite shit's real how Where's do you fuck proof? how the fuck do you think we get the jeep like our own gps <laughs> you, know, you cannot you're not about to tell me this man you're not, allowed, you're not about to be this retarded bro you're not because when I put in my fucking GPS, it takes me to the place that it said it was going to take me. And I don't Dude, turn G- and I don't turn left on the GPS and right in real life to get there. It's fucking like you're retarded. Yeah, the funny GPS's, thing is though, you GPS's can see. are AI demons that are guiding you <laughs> into hell. That's true. I was about to say that. That's 100% they are true. AI demons. The thing yeah. is, you can see satellites. Like, if you go to like uh, yeah. a clear, like if it's a clear night sky, yeah. you can yeah. just see them moving. Exactly. Get a fucking telescope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the the fake satellites are. It's fucking. Well, the thing is, we can't get past our orbit, you know. Like after out out, oh, out yes, of that, yes. you know. We're stuck. The the the, yeah. the uh, celestial. Uh, yeah. Barrier. Dome. Yeah. It's, space is water. We're in water. Yeah. Well, here's the here's the real here's the, I don't even know if I can say this. Will YouTube allow it? If the, here's the real uh the real secret is that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he did do that, and I got me banned from Zoom. I think. Uh, previously in a previous episode, but in this one, I'm talking. It never so, happened. A, Versus, so Jules, Jules, one of those guys that calls the police and says, "I did it. 
I I did the no the listen. crime, and then they're like, we can tell you didn't do it. Like we no, have, I literally have a you know listen, we have the guy that actually did it versus anyway, like no, it was me. I swear they have a, they have an episode of my podcast hostage <clears throat> right now because they won't let me log in to get it. Sounds but, pro. There's no pro or it's not a, a take. <laughs> It's yeah. A, it's Damn, a, did they they just ban verse? Yo, spooky. spooky. Dude. Oh wow, three. he's gone. Damn. Spooky. What secrets does verse know? Spooky. Well, I was texting my Zionist handlers while this was happening. And you were so telling they, them to kill verse. I have that power. I can't dude, that'd be crazy if he just got banned mid mid take on that. But uh, no, no, that's like a, such a weird time, like a convenient time for my internet to f- glitch out. It's gonna glitch are again, you, bro. Are you back from re-education camp already? Again. That was pretty funny, though. The timing, the timing was perfect. Yeah, they were they were like sending you a message like um like the end of eyes wide shut when yeah, they right? send them the letter. No, that was just Uber saying like, hey. Yeah, they wanted Uber. to they wanted to like just throttle my shit. Just let me know, like just like we we we're listening, buddy. But yeah, so all the spaceship. Shit is a distraction because they want people off Earth. You know, mm. if, if you get them to Mars, right? If you colonize Mars and you get everyone there, then they won't be able to discover the secrets of the Earth, and they can pretty much Base. rewrite history and rebuild everything. Dude, everyone knows that it, red is good. Red is you got the Republican Party, you got mm. McDonald's. Bro, there is no fucking Marxist party, dude. Blue, it's all the same shit. Democrats. Are you, you playing got... any of like? There's the China. Are you fake, implying bro. any of the parties in America are good? <laughs> <laughs> I know you didn't just say yeah, that. Yeah, let bro. alone real. When did you start working for fucking Donald Trump? <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and now Jules shut the fuck a, up. He's a good the yeah. fucking CCP or whatever the fuck. He's like, ah, he figured out my boss. Interesting. I will have to escalate this to my handlers. <laughs> Drop our sends credit score by 30 points this pull out week. Out a doll. I just pull out a voodoo doll and I just start like putting pins Finger in it. the butthole. Like, oh my God. This is like... Yeah. I, oh wish my, I, I wish I had a escalating this. I wish I had a voodoo level. doll of myself so I could like scratch its ass. So like I wouldn't have to like publicly scratch my nice. ass. That's yeah. powerful. Josh, can we get a live review of FK Ultra me. Money podcast from you? <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, as as just a, a listener Perfect. right now, you know? five out of seven. Yeah, you're the first. You're the first person to listen to this episode. <laughs> um, <laughs> man, I don't know. I've never been asked to like rate something I was on. You know, while you're doing it, while I'm seven doing out it. Out of eight? Huh? Do we get a we get a seven out of eight? It's like a weird scale. <laughs> yeah, it's really strange, dude. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I mean, because of that, it, it just dropped a bunch, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. God damn it, Jules. You're just you're just weirding me out now at this point. I like I I think you're you know Jules is the, secretly the, lot, but secretly Jules is the most schizo of all of us. Yeah. yeah. Not yeah. even secretly, yeah, man. Let's yeah. let's be honest. It's the, it's yeah. very obvious that yeah. Jules is yeah. When I first met Jules, I didn't like realize. Right about, hold on, I'm right about a lot of things. But I don't even feel. <laughs> I'm sure talking about. How about that, dude? Listen, it doesn't count if you have though. cheat codes from the government. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't. I don't. Like, oh, I game. I, I game sharked the entire. I don't. Bro, of the first US time I was invited onto Jules's old podcast, he was like fucking <laughs> on the screen with like latex gloves in his own apartment, like on his own fucking computer. I, I like, know. Boom. I was like, what the fuck is happening? I, I, Jules is getting updates from his handlers right now. Yeah, for, for like four, the first four months that I knew Jules, I thought he was gay until he mentioned his girlfriend for the first time. Yeah. That's I'm like, a lie. no, no I'm, I'm serious. Yeah, yeah, I thought you were gay too. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. Th- I also <laughs> thought, thought you were gay. gay. <laughs> the face, that yeah. face. <laughs> yeah, I had a, I had like, yeah. <laughs> People like people have walked up to me and been like, "Oh, you're way too beautiful to be straight." And I'm like, "Good luck with your." Thoughts. Oh God, yeah. And then you're like, "Oh, please stop it! Don't." <laughs> <save me." laughs> there we go. That there was uh, that go. was him in the pool with a uh, <laughs> Ryan Singer. Ryan Singer, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a chick who said that. What's his name? Oh yeah, he was with her <laughs> boyfriend. It was so weird. She was like wanted to like. Gr- it was this girl actually, and she was like groping me mm. out of nowhere. And then her like muscle head boyfriend comes over, and she's like, "Oh, he's like way too beautiful to be straight." And I was like, "I have no idea how to respond to this right then now." You pretended like, you were gay. Was, like, that weird. I was like, 
he's like that weird third gender in the animal <laughs> kingdom where like they they like are they Sea-horse? are horse like no you know you know how like uh like, like fucking, vampire uh, hunter d no, yeah, like no, no. What, is, what is that fucking the weird like, like the, so good looking that he makes straight men uncomfortable no 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 there's uh it's like vampire hunter d it's a fucking it's one of the cephalopods what the fuck are they called not, not nautiluses nigeria no 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 no, no. they're Jewel, like the, jules is the first uh good case to take they them seriously they're like those weird little octopuses like they're not really octopuses squid Jellyfish. No, not squid. The other one, the third. Oh, one. calamari, whatever the fuck those are. No, no, calamari is jellyfish. Just an octopus. No, oh, not octopus? jellyfish. Jellyfish are. Well, if it was right. octo poopy puss. Not oh, no. okay. There we go. There you go. Yeah. Gonna, I like yeah. that. Eight, eight <laughs> shitty pussies. <laughs> 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 Fucking, what are they called? Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna find the name. Give me a second. I'm gonna find the name. <laughs> so, Josh, about that review. <laughs> Yeah, it's. Uh, I was thinking about that just now. It just like keeps dropping slowly, you know, like <laughs> little by little. Eight poopy pussies was a. That's that was the uh, breaking point. Yeah, <laughs> we should do. <laughs> we should we should uh for the Christmas episode we should do like a on the first day of Christmas but with eight poopy pussies like <laughs> the song. <laughs> <laughs> so hard. Look, the important thing is you guys are entertaining yourselves. You know? <laughs> oh, that's yeah. always the most cuttlefish. Important thing. The that's cuttlefish. cuttlefish. All right, so oh, cuttle, yeah. so cuttlefish, like the 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 gay looking <laughs> men. You can't disappear for five minutes and then come back with. <laughs> a, bro, I was googling it. I was literally. I'm like, ago. I'm I'm making this fucking analogy. Jules is We're like all the a, way back to this now. Jules Why is like yet? Jules is like the cut. Like there's like femboy cuttlefish and then like <laughs> Chad cuttlefish, right? So the what what the femboy cuttlefish do is like they look very feminine. So they like they literally like sneak into like a like a dude's a, a cuttlefish's harem. Mm. And then because they look, fe- they'll like they'll get fucked in the ass, but then they'll be like, "I'm right around all the bitches." So then they fuck all the bitches, and that's how they procreate. So it's mm. like a they like invented a third gender. They get and sneaky. Jules, Jules is that third other. <laughs> He's gender. a cuttlefish. He gets a. He goes sneaky. to Brian Singer's party and gets fucked by Dan <laughs> Schneider, but then he gets to have sex with like Emma Watson and shit. Mm. That's, a, that's a good. That's, it's a it's a sacrifice you got to be willing to make. Yeah, Jules, and Jules makes it every just day. So out of control. The most offensive thing anyone can ever say to anyone, you know. <laughs> That's just it. normal here, actually. You're not defending <laughs> yourself. Why aren't, why aren't you defending yourself? Because <laughs> you really did go to the uh, Zack Snyder. Was at a Brian Singer. Singer. Bar. I always yeah. say Zack Snyder. Did he Brian really? Singer. Yeah. yeah he no, no. Yeah. He like yeah. told us this story. He was at a yeah. Brian Singer. We didn't know uh, about that. We didn't know this about him until he told us. Yeah. Oh what? God. Yeah. So it's like our running joke now. You're just so. How about that? Jules, yeah, I have the episode. I'm not as good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jamie, pull that up. <laughs> Jamie, pull up Jules saying he was at a Brian Singer you know. party. It does make it all make sense though. When you go, oh, okay, he's one of um, oh, he was, he's one of Brian Singer's fucking he's raped, uh, repeated, catamites. <laughs> one of Brian Singer's catamites. <laughs> Just none, of, none of this. No, none of this. Nope. Did, nope. They try to rape you for real. Wrong. Nope. No, did they? No, try? they didn't try. They nope. were successful. Nope. Nope. They definitely nope. gave it a shot. Like nope. at least one pass, like one. No. Nope. Why did you go? Uh, my girlfriend was invited. Mm. And it was the same night as, as the State of the Union. And so I like walk into Brian Singer's house and I walk in and I go, MAGA. And I was like, who watched the State of the Union? And then like everybody stares at me and Brian Singer goes, you're nuts. And then he just talked to me the whole night. I, that kind of happened to me in a weird way where I was at, before 2016 election, so it was still the, you know, campaigning. I was wearing a MAGA hat at Katy Perry's house. And nice. she whispered yeah. to me, she whispered in my ear, she said, you're weird. <laughs> That's, That's like powerful. a huge compliment. That's yeah. powerful, though. Yeah. I am currently, if anyone's interested, I am using these clippers on my feet right now. <laughs> and I am... Just really yeah, dude. On the, pot. Yeah, dude, the, the, the quality of this show. <laughs> <laughs> the quality of this show. And you know, for the patrons out there, you guys are you guys are getting massive bang for your buck on this, you know, like the quality. You can't fucking no stop. Are you using are you using wire cutters to clip your fucking nails? <laughs> it's a cuticle cutter. 
Why if you, you upgrade, if you upgrade though? from five from your five dollar <laughs> tier to the fifteen or or twenty five dollar tier, we're we'll we'll selling you a, jewels as toenails. Uh, yeah, we'll send you a bag of jewels as toenails and cuticles. <laughs> this mm-hmm. is like Dancing with the Stars, but on po- in the podcast world. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great review that's the best you should definitely add that to like the fucking uh <laughs> or like bio and th- this is like divers drive-ins and dashes of the podcasting world and Hell yeah, that's what kind a of heavy fun. emphasis on the fucking dives really but, yeah for for, it, the, for the people watching like no don't bother looking for any other podcast there aren't any. <laughs> yeah there are even <laughs> josh <laughs> even it? josh was saying in the the side chat he's like yeah i'm gonna like Stop doing my show now because I know I can't compete with it. No, it, honestly, like I'm demoralized right now. <laughs> Just completely demoralized. Josh has to rethink my whole life. He's like, I don't even want to be in the same medium as these fucking assholes. <laughs> yeah, and, and look, James, that's why we got to cancel Sunday's episode with, with you and I. Because <laughs> the, the, the whole series is just canceled. That's the reason. <laughs> Yeah, that's the that's the reason. All anyway. right, Josh, plug your show that I'll be going on the same week as uh this episode dropping. Wrong op.gumroad.com and you better fucking put that in the description. You 100%. better put it on the YouTube. You better tell people to do it or else bad things will happen. I do know people on the top. I do know head Zionists whatever. It, I like I can make people disappear. It's happened. It's Based. happened. So who just, who who cool have you had on your show? I know Sam Hyde, obviously. Mike Ma, Sam Hyde, Frank Hassel, uh, uh, freaking. Uh, what the Punisher? General Flynn. General Flynn's been on my oh, show. Oh yeah, that's Frank Hassel. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> who, who else have you had on? Uh, I don't know. Um, like a fucking bunch of people, dude. I've I I, I don't have. Oh yeah, name them. I just <laughs> did. I just yeah, did. James. <laughs> <laughs> anyway i'm trying to convince people to subscribe to your show by finding out who the guests are well oh, the, yeah. i don't always have guests but okay. um you know like the next one is this guy james Heal- healy healy mm. hell like yeah that. yeah i love that guy you're gonna see a huge tank in your he has an average <laughs> cock he has a very average looking penis i've heard link in the For description real, below subscribe to him yeah you have to. Yeah. It's make really... make sure first you're subscribed to patreon.com slash MK Ultra Money. But if you still have money left over, then you subscribe to Josh's show. Yeah. And if you, you don't can... have money left over after that, you're a fucking loser. So <laughs> 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 fucking true. Very true. And yeah. uh and that's the show, folks. Like and subscribe. <laughs>